Here we are then. Time for little drinkies. Oh, you've got a new leaf. Oh, who's growing into a lovely big boy then? Now, why can't you grow like that? You are just not trying. You're supposed to talk to them, not nag them. Some plants need firmer handling, George. Now, where's that cane? That's right, give it a good hiding. Oh. <laughs> I'm just giving it a little extra support. Now, this is the lazy one. It just flops around and it doesn't try. <laughs> I call it George. <laughs> Mildred, uh, where's the spare crash helmet of mine, the old one? Um, it's for me dad. Yes, uh, quite. Oh, you don't really need it, do you? Well, it'd be on the pillion. Yes, of course. Oh, all right then. I suppose I'll just have to repot it. Oh, that's nice, isn't it? You're sticking plants in anything that doesn't move. Yes, so don't fall asleep with your mouth open. <laughs> right, now, when are you collecting him? Two o'clock at the house. But I thought they were knocking the house down. Well, not till he's out. No? Oh, well, I suppose they know what they're doing. No, it's a bit of a tragedy, really, isn't it? When you're old and useless and nobody wants you. I want you, George. <laughs> not me, me dad. Nobody wants him. Oh, you're exaggerating. No, I'm not. I don't want him for a start, do you? No. <laughs> but there's your brothers and sisters. I wouldn't mind betting, Mildred. I'm the only one that's there. Say bye-bye to your house. Yeah, yeah. Here, you see that brick wall they're knocking down over there? Yeah. Now that's where I first met your mother. Up against that wall. How <laughs> <laughs> you think of the past, Dad? Why not? There's more of it. Not much future for me, though, is there? <laughs> that's true. Seven kids we brought up in that house. Four boys, two girls. And you. <laughs> Get on the back, then, Dad. Yeah, all right, son. <laughs> right. Wear this, Dad. <laughs> yeah. I left half hand away the coal in the bath. Yeah, they leave it. They've got central eating at the old folks' home. Oh. Now, hold tight. <laughs> He's Bram. In the pram? Oh, I'm dying to see him again. Well, you saw him this morning. Yes, I know, but they grow so fast. <laughs> Can't we change the subject? We're always talking about the baby. Uh, yes. He's lost interest since he realised it can't play football. <laughs> Um, I am trying to work here, you know. <laughs> Whoops. He doesn't have to do homework. I don't know what he's got to cry about. Oh, no, dear. Quiet. Have you decided on a name for him yet? Oh, well, we thought of Tarquin and Peregrine. Oh, and George, of course. <laughs> I think I'll go and finish this in the lounge. <laughs> I think he's suffering from postnatal depression. <laughs> no, we'll have to find a name for the baby soon. Otherwise, he'll grow up answering to Coochie Coochie. <laughs> yes. Um, hello, Mrs. Roper. Uh, oh, you know the 12 yes. o'clock feed? I think it's just worked its way through. <laughs> oh, who's a clever little boy, then? <laughs> coochie 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 Coochie. Or, um, whatever you are going to call him. <laughs> I think I'll just go and bail out the pram. Oh, he's a lovely baby. Ah, oh, yes, yes. Very nice, very nice. Uh, nice and homely. Not like a home. <laughs> yeah. You'll like it here, Dad. You'll really be able to... Oh, God. Come on in, Dad. <laughs> Hey, George, I don't like this place here. It, it's got a big wall right round it. Yeah, well, that's to keep people out, see? Oh. <laughs> anyway, look on the bright side. You won't be here that long. Not your age. <laughs> Afternoon. Mr Roper, isn't it? Oh, yeah, that's right. Welcome to Twilight's. Now, come with me and I'll show you your room. <laughs> <laughs> Not me. He's 
the one you want. Hey, Dad, go with her. <laughs> Don't let him take me, George. Oh, I don't want to be locked up. Oh, dear me, it's not like that, Mr. Roper. You're free to come and go. Oh, well, I'm going. <laughs> no, no, yes, a bit. No, he's, uh, he's, he's a bit nervous, see? No need to be. There's jelly and custard for tea. <laughs> jelly and custard? Oh, that makes a difference, doesn't it? Jelly and custard. Hey, what do you think I am, a bleeding kid? <laughs> oh, it's quite all right, Mr. Roper. Now, you'll soon settle in, honestly. Let me take your... Don't, don't you touch that. You've got one of the nicest garden rooms and you'll be sharing it with someone just your own age. Yeah? What's she like? <laughs> <laughs> Look, you'll be fine. You'll soon forget there's an outside world. <laughs> Um, I'm sure your son will visit you every week. Well, I don't know about that. It's a 70 bus ride. <laughs> yeah. Well, by the way, he'll be needing these. These are his Sunday teeth. him today and burp him <laughs> my word he did give a big one <laughs> you always tell me off when I do that <laughs> and then he said goo oh plain as anything goo goo no it's not quite as cute when you say it <laughs> you're not at all worried about my father are you you haven't once asked how he was this afternoon how was it don't ask <laughs> <laughs> Poor old devil, I owe him everything, you know, what I am today. Yeah. Still, we mustn't bear grudges. <laughs> now, look, now he's old, what happens? Thrown on the rubbish dump. But you said you'd taken him to the old folks' home. Well, same thing. <laughs> he won't like it there, Mildred. They're making bath. <laughs> I mean, it wouldn't happen in China. In China, they look after old people. Well, send him there. <laughs> oh. Oh, George, I mean, you never liked him. He used to take his belt to you. Oh, that was his way of showing love. <laughs> By belting you all around the house? Yeah, well, <coughs> he couldn't find the words. Oh. <laughs> Look, stop worrying about him. I mean, old age comes to all of us, you know. How about an early night? Uh, uh, no, Mildred, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> Mind you, it comes to some of us sooner than others. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> Seven. Hello, George. <laughs> Can I come in? Dad, what the...? Well, they slung me out from there, and I've got nowhere to go. Why? What yeah. have you been doing? Have you been chasing old women? No, no. <laughs> go through, go through. Who is it? Well, it's me dad. He's escaped. What? <laughs> oh, oh, I'm so true. Yeah, drop of brandy wouldn't go down too bad. Yeah. Oh, what? Anything on the telly, is there? Now, look, Mr. Roper. <laughs> oh, hello, love. Hello, dear. <laughs> why aren't you at the old folks' homes? They slung me out. But why? Well, maybe because uh, I didn't eat all my jelly and custard. My, my teeth ain't up to it. Yeah, but you haven't been there 24 hours. You must have done something. No, I didn't do nothing. Nothing. Well, well, just a little bit of fun, that was all. What was? Well, I took the handbrake off old Mrs. Taylor's wheelchair. Yes, <laughs> and it went straight into the petunias. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not a bit funny now. Yeah, well, she snitched on me for smoking in the bathroom. Well, how did she find out? Well, she was in the bath, and I didn't... <laughs> I didn't know she was in the bath when I went in there. <laughs> Good God, look, just get him out of those clothes. I'll, I'll go and phone the hose. Yeah, all right, look, come on, Dad. All there right, you go. son. All right. All right. Oh. Now, this way. Good morning, Twilight. <laughs> uh, good morning. Uh, this is Mildred Roper here. Um... I'm phoning about my father-in-law. Oh, yes. Yeah, 
I uh, understand you slung him. Um, you uh, you asked him to leave. We did no such thing, Mrs. Roper. He left of his own accord because we wouldn't allow him to keep a pet. A pet? A communal budgie is provided in the restroom and they can take it in turns feeding it. But we certainly cannot allow him to keep a ferret. <laughs> I mean, of course you could. A ferret? He smuggled it in in a basket when he arrived. Yes. Uh, well, would you mind holding on for a minute? Thank you. <laughs> Yes, a ferret. <laughs> yes, and it's bit the housekeeper, oh. and that is against the rules. <laughs> yes, quite. Right. But, uh, you know, will he take him back? I mean, without his pet, I mean. Well, all right, but he must make up his mind quickly. We do have a waiting list. Yes, of course, yes. Well, I'll see to it right away. All right. Ugh. <laughs> 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 no, I'm not going to part with my Percy. He's been like the son to me, he has this ferret. Yeah, but Dad. No, no, I've had him for years. He's the best ratter in Hackney. But well, don't open it. Just, don't, oh, no, 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 no. no, Dad. We'll take it to the vet, have it put down. Oh. Why don't you take me to the vet and have me put down while you're about it? <laughs> Oh, there's a thought. <laughs> Fine way for my only child to treat me. I'm not your only child. Yeah, but you're the only one what to have me. Who said I have you? You can't stay here. Oh, I see. Now, what would your mother say to that? And her hardly cold in her grave. Well, it must have central eating then. She's been in it 20 years. <laughs> it's no use, sir. I can't eat any more. I'm not surprised. Your plate's empty. <laughs> I, I, I don't feel well. What would about in all that rain? Uh, 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 <laughs> 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 I, uh, I, I think I ought to go up to bed. Yeah, yeah, I tell you what. You have a lie down in the spare room, Dad. We'll right. sort this out when you're feeling better. All right, son. There you are. Come on. Right. Right. <coughs> there you are. Right, there you go. <coughs> <coughs> Here. You won't let nothing happen to Percy. No, 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 of course. <coughs> right, you go up the stairs here. That's all right, there's a way. <coughs> all right. <coughs> now, listen to me, George. That evil little animal is going to stay in the garage. Well, not why he's got a cold, Mildred. <laughs> not that one, that one. <laughs> and don't think your father is going to worm his way into this house, George. If he stays, I go. You've been asleep all day. It's flu. Yeah, well, it does when you're enjoying yourself. <laughs> uh, it, it might be pneumonia, George. Yeah, well, listen, Mildred's pressed your suit, see, so you drink the soup and I'll take you back no, to the mosque. No, 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 I can't, I can't eat anything, son. I, here, it might be what took your mother off. Here, one minute, the next minute, gone. Oh, come on, Dad, you live to be over 70. Oh, I'm over 70 now, son. See? What did I tell you? Right, now. Come on, now, you eat the soup, see? No, 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 no. You listen to me, son. Listen, okay. listen. If anything does happen, I want you to have my fob watch. Oh, come on, Dad. No, 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 no. You're the only one what stood by me, son. And it's gold-plated half hunter. There's the pawn ticket. <laughs> Well, 
Is he ready to go? Well, he might be. That's what's worrying me. <laughs> he won't eat anything, Mildred. He's coughing and spluttering up there. I don't think he's fit to be moved. Uh-huh. It hasn't crossed your mind that he might be uh, putting it on a bit? Well, of course he is, but that doesn't mean he's not ill. All right, then. I'll send for the doctor. See what he says. Oh, it's a good idea. But by the way, he wants me to pop out and get something for his chest. But the chemist's shut. I know, but the pub isn't. He wants milk stout. <laughs> Of course, in that one, he's ten days old. Um, well, I've got one here where he's uh, eleven days old. Uh, ah, here it is. Uh, uh, eleven days old. Look, he's smiling. Yes. You showed it to me yesterday, dear, and the day before. Ah, oh, well, look, I've got some here that uh, you haven't seen. Oh, uh, could I have a milk stout, please, to take away? And, oh, and a half a pint. Huh? Well, make that a whiskey on me. Eh? Well, we've got to wet the baby's head. Have I shown you these photographs? Oh, God. Make it a large one. <laughs> Doctor, I do hope I'm not wasting your time. Oh, that's quite all right. Is he uh, running a temperature at all? Well, it's a bit difficult to say. I'm, I've only got a meat thermometer, and uh, <laughs> according to that, he's uh, medium rare. <laughs> oh, good. Because I know how busy you must be in it. Oh, it... oh. oh. You see, at his age, the slightest thing could see him off. Quite. Well, there he is in his pram. Oh, yeah, very nice. <laughs> what would the upheaval and moving, you see, and having his own knocked down? Oh, the same again, please. Oh, very sad. Oh, look, there he is in the bar. <laughs> yeah, very nice. I reckon he's lost the will to live. Hello. The gay Gordon here. <laughs> uh, could you tell me, please, is, is, is Mr Roper there? Uh, George Roper? Oh. Thank you, Gordon. Uh, I just thought that he, you know, might have taken his father. Yes, well, if you track him down, let me know. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have another patient to see. Or when I say another patient, I, I let myself out. Yes, all right. I'm, I do apologise, uh, George. Mildred. Uh, yes, it's about your father. He's gone. Gone? Yes. Well, I was with the doctor. We went upstairs, and he'd gone. <laughs> Dad, he's passed away. Uh, there he is in the park. Uh, George, jo oh, cool. it's a bit nippy out there, isn't it? What? A bit nippy. Where have you been? Well, I've, I've been down the garage feeding my ferret. You are supposed to be ill. Oh, yes. Yes, it's right. I don't think I can get up to bed on me own. Oh, <laughs> He's faking, Anne. I know he is. And George is fooled. Well, old people can be difficult. Yeah. Come on, tea time. Put that space gun away. All right. Mummy bought me this today. It atomizes people. <laughs> Oh, yes, dear. <laughs> it's bribery and corruption, really. Every time we buy the baby something, we buy him something. Oh. Yes, and I'm beginning to like him a bit. <laughs> Kids. Old age pensioners. <laughs> Mildred? Mildred? Finally happened then, old fella. You won't be needing the milk stout. <laughs> Waste the money, really. <laughs> Still, I expect they'll have some up there. Or down there. Wherever you've gone. It's funny, really, isn't it? We never really sat down and had a talk together, you and me. Oh, well, that's life, I suppose, if you'll pardon the expression. <laughs> I wasn't always a good son to your dad. I was the one who put frogs in your wellies. <laughs> and when you weren't looking, I put Epsom salts in your tea. <laughs> Still, I meant no harm. I tell you one thing, you see Mum again, you won't like that. <laughs> oh, well. Rest in peace. Oh, 
I've had... Oh, I've had the fright of me life. What? You said the old fool had gone. Well, he heard. He was out in the garage. Oh, screw. <laughs> oh, dear. I felt the air stand up on me head. <laughs> what, all three of them? <laughs> he wasn't dead. He wasn't even sick. He got up and swiped me one. What for? Well, oh, uh, something to do about wellies and frogs and that. <laughs> well, it happened a long time ago. Oh, it's no use arguing, Mildy. He'll have to go back to the home. I know, George, but they won't take him with his ferrets. Oh, Struth. Oh. Here, listen. Yeah. Perhaps we can send it to the Battersea Dogs home. You might not notice. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> well, perhaps they've got Battersea ferrets home. You never know. <laughs> oh, hello, Mr. Fourmile. Hello. Um, I'm sorry to intrude. I know this must be a very sad time for you. It is. There's nothing wrong with him. <laughs> oh, uh, well, um, I understand that you, your father used to own a ferret. Used to? Uh, yes, it ran out of the garage as I was driving up. I, I couldn't stop in time. Oh, well, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> George. Oh, oh yeah. I can't say how sorry I am. Yeah, well, poor old Percy. Still, I expect it was quick. Oh, very quick. Couldn't have been quicker. But I, I don't know if, um, well, how much do ferrets cost these oh, days? Oh, no, you, please, Mr. Fulmer. Oh, quite right. Now, mere money cannot replace a loved one. Oh, uh, no. But... Yeah, no, please, just... Leave us alone with our grief. <laughs> well, I think that solves the problem, Mildred. <laughs> yes, George. Well, he ought to be locked up. Going around running over innocent poor little ferrets. Well, it was an accident, Dad. You must have left the basket open. No, I didn't. Uh, it does mean you go back to the home with no argument. You soon settle in again. Good company, good food. Yeah. They won't be putting Epsom salts in me tea, neither. <laughs> well, it's been lovely having you here for a visit. And you must do it again. Next year. <laughs> oh, now, there's your taxi. Uh, right, well, this is it then, Dad. Yeah, and I want my gold-plated half hunter back. Oh, oh, yeah, right. Yes. There you are, then. <clears throat> and you, uh, well, you mustn't think of this as goodbye, Dad. Think of it as, um, well, um, yeah, goodbye. <laughs> Mr. Fourmile has got something for your father. I know it can't possibly make amends, but I felt it was the least I could do. I'm told its name is Fred. <laughs> well, isn't that nice? Now, yeah. look, yeah. I'm not... They won't take me back now, George. Oh, God. 